fool for this early spring, but boy, it sure is beautiful. Uh, as we get into the announcement this morning, you know, we're glad everyone's here. If you're a visitor here, we're just excited that you're here and you're always welcome here at Limestone. But you need to get a bulletin. The bulletin today is just full of things that's going on at church. A lot of things going on this morning, so I'm going to run through them pretty quick. Uh, but it's very important. These things that's in this bulletin are important. So please get your bulletin. That way you can keep up with what's going on. A lot of things is going on. We had the CTS competition uh, yesterday i believe and we got some will and uh, reagan you know are going to the state as well as olivia and we'll talk more about that so congratulations to you all that's exciting um the women active for christ uh will meet next sunday april the 3rd at 4 30 in the basement of the church so remember that uh, volunteer prayer warriors are needed to pray and participate in the leaders of the grief uh, grief share so there's a sign up sheet in the back so remember that. Uh, we've got the men's conference coming up in Irwin on the 8th and 9th. Uh, we'll have the bus here to church if guys want to, you know, if you want to ride the bus or want to drive. So keep that in mind. You know, Easter's right around the corner. So we've got an Easter egg hunt coming up on the 13th from 6 to 8. Uh, so remember that. We usually have a great big Easter egg hunt, a lot of kids, a lot of stuff. Uh, also, we got the cantata I seen in here is coming up on Easter Sunday. So we're always excited about that. A lot of work goes into that. Um, Lynn Muck and Jane Bailey are leading the women's Bible study on Wednesday evening at 5.45 the time church starts. So remember that. Uh, my wife, a daughter, and daughter-in-law has been going. They've really enjoyed that. So ladies, that's something you may want to uh, consider if you've not already been going. Uh, the young women active for Christ, 12 and up, are meeting at 5 in the annex today. So remember that. Uh, VBS is coming up, you know, it's almost April, so June, uh, Vacation Bible School will be here, so uh, Jane's always looking for help and planning and all that, so remember that. And I know I'm, I'm not trying to be, you know, leave anything out, just so much things in here, and that's exciting. When you see all these things going on in the church, you know, that, that's, that's exciting, things are going on. Uh, sunrise Easter service on the 17th at 6.45, be here in the sanctuary. Uh, and I don't want to miss anything. Uh, and we've got several other little things going on today. Also, I've got a, a card from Janice and family, Janice Adams and her family says, thank you for your thoughts and prayers during this difficult time. Our family always appreciates the food and the prayers that was sent. So let's remember that family. We, we, we love them and love you all. So, um, yeah, let's see what we got here. Birthdays. Uh, anybody got a birthday they want to celebrate? Anyone? Oh, yeah. Uh, birthday to you. Happy birthday. to get out of that, wasn't you? <laughs> Too young to be trying to do that. <laughs> uh, it looks like there's no anniversaries. Uh, have anybody had an anniversary? It may not be in the bulletin. So, all right, so like I say, we've got a lot going on. So uh, Larry Kelly wants to come and speak for just a minute. And then uh, we'll have Miss Jane as soon as he gets done. Did you notice the children are the only one getting older? <laughs> well, I've got evidence that we also are getting older here. I want to speak very quickly here about the directory and clarify any kind of misconceptions and things. Uh, back in January, we did this uh, little directory with names and addresses and contact information and birthdays and anniversaries. So that would get folks information to be able to send out cards and encouragement letters and things like that, okay? And it's been updated again, okay? Constantly changing. And we want this to be accurate so we can do a good job when we do the picture directory, okay? So we want everybody's name in here and address and phone number. You don't have to be a member here, okay? 
just folks that attend. We want your information so we can be there to help. Uh, last time we made a directory with pictures, then it was back in 2016, okay? Some folks have aged since then. <laughs> you know, to me, this is a treasure. If you go visit a homebound person, they will have this real close to their seat. They look in here and they pray for families. I look in here and I see folks that have gone on to their heavenly reward, okay? You can pray for that spouse that's here, okay? It's so important that we have our pictures in here. Now, this morning, uh, you know, before that, the last one we had before that was six years earlier than that in 2010, okay? We're blessed here to have some folks during this time, we got to do things so they're unique. Instead of calling in somebody to do this, we decided to do it in-house. Using the valuable information here to contact people to get their picture made. And this is for everyone. This morning, you should have got a slip of paper. If you don't have one, uh, we got some back there that uh, the greeter will give you. Uh, we're asking you to fill that out today and put it in a box back there. It's a little prayer box that's on the center table. This gives you choices, okay? The one there is, I've already done it, okay? Fold it up, put it back in there with your name on it, okay? Then it says, uh, I will contact Vivian or Janine, okay? These ladies, uh, are, I can't say enough about them, okay? Uh, they're, they're professional photographers, by the way. But they're also uh, professional Christians. <laughs> They told me that they would be available to work with you. I even had one of them tell me this morning, I'll come to your house during the week. They both tell me they'll come on Saturday. They'll make it work for you to get your picture. If you do it at home, you can get without your hair being blown by all this wind we got going there. <laughs> but it's very important that we get your picture in here. I love to have homebound people praying for me, okay? Uh, we they can pray for each other, and we can get you information. Okay, very important. Yes. I didn't see Janine here. Uh, where's she? Where are you at? There she is. And Vivian, stand up here. Okay. Thank. You. Give my round of applause for the work they've done. And they they make me look pretty too. I tell you what, it's good. It really is. Uh, it's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> if you don't believe in miracles, look at my picture, okay? All right, uh, everyone attends here. Uh, very, very important, as if I'm forgetting anything. Uh, make sure your information is, is correct in here. You can look at one of these back on the table there on the left as you come in. Make sure your information is correct. Please fill this out today. Uh, one of them here says uh, you either schedule with them or says you want to use a photo from the directory. Some of you haven't changed the lick, okay? You might want your picture in there, okay? We can take this picture, uh, we've got a lot of these saved, we can use those in there, okay? We just want your picture in there. And the last choice, my least favorite, I choose not to have a photo in the directory, okay? That's an option for you, but we'd still like your contact information, but we hope that you will get pictures. These ladies will send you a uh, digital copy of the pictures and then believe me they're going to be a good quality where you can take them uh, to Walgreens or somewhere and make you some good pictures out of them. Okay, if you got any questions on that, I won't take no more time. Just ask me or uh, Janine or Vivian there and we'll get you taken care of on this. Okay, everybody. Okay, thank you all very much and God bless you. Good morning. good morning it's so good to be here and i just want to first all say thank you all so much my church family has been wonderful to me the last three months and i appreciate everything that you all have done your prayers your cards your texts the food everything i really was a blessing you know it's uh 
You'd think in a house of seven other people I wouldn't get lonely, but I got lonely for you all. I missed you so much. And it was nice, you know, having the, the um, services I could watch online, but it's nothing like being here in person. And, and again, I just, God has been so good. But what I'm up here today for is we're, gonna, we're honoring a special lady today, our pastor's wife. Brandy, if you will come up, honey. Um, some of you may have seen in different publications that today is Pastor Wife Appreciation. It's been this month, and we wanted to honor Miss Brandy. Um, I know that lots of times the women active for Christ, we always make sure we honor her on, uh, when we do our pastor appreciation. But this is a little gift from the church, and they wanted you to know, and I'm going to read the card and the note that's inside. Give and it shall be given unto you, good measure, pressed down and shaken together and running over. Praying the Lord blesses your giving heart in an abundant measure. Miss Brandy, we cannot express enough how much you are loved by us. We appreciate all you do for the church, uh, for our church family. You are an exceptional role model for our young women, mothers and wives, and the children love you so much. You have your priorities where they should be, serving the Lord first, then Tim and the children, and last but certainly not least, your church family. We love you, and you, we are so glad that you're our pastor's wife. Amen. And here's a little gift card that you can use as you choose. We can't let the pastor do everything, right? So the little one's going to come up and sing. Y'all want to come and sing for us? And then we do have children's church today, yes. do we not? Yeah. See, I'm getting old, so. I might get run over here. <laughs> and we just thought the young ones had energy to run up the aisle. <laughs> but it's, it's good to see everyone here this morning. Uh, it's good to, to know that, uh, boy, we've got a, a, a secure building here with the way the wind's blowing here lately. And uh, so we're very grateful for God's in control. Uh, on behalf of, of my family, we sure appreciate you honoring Brandy today. And uh, I could not do what I do uh, without her and, and without her, her gifts and her ministry uh, to this church. So I thank you for honoring her today. Uh, let's do continue looking at some of our announcements and, and be in prayer about some things. Uh, let's do, we want to welcome uh, uh, World War II veteran Jack Hope with us here today. And uh, him and his daughter are here with us. And uh, so we want to welcome him here today. Thank you for your service and thank you for your presence here today. Uh, 
that, that's a wonderful generation uh, that we were able to, uh, uh, to recognize and, and, and very grateful that we were able to meet some of those men and women uh, that fought uh, for our country during that time. Uh, let's do continue praying. I, 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 we've all, a couple of us have received a, a, a text message this morning concerning Junior Fox. Uh, Brother Junior is at the VA. Uh, pardon me, they're running some tests. Uh, not sure uh, what's going on, but uh, you know he is running a fever and they're running some tests. Uh, so let's do rem rem remember Brother Junior. Uh, been having a lot of lung issues here lately, and uh, so just to lift him up. Uh, let's do continue praying for just the many others, uh, you know, that may have a physical need. I know uh, some of you, some of you all have, have been uh, in and out of the hospital this week. Uh, Brother uh, George Bowers, I know he was at, up in Kingsport and he's home now, uh, and, and just looking at some other procedures in the, in the near future. So let's remember him, uh, Sister uh, uh, Sister Morrow back there in the back, uh, having some uh, some heart calf this coming Wednesday about six o'clock this morning or tomorrow or Wednesday morning when she needs to be there. Uh, so let's do remember Sister uh, Faye. Uh, let's do continue praying for just the many others uh, that I know this week I'll be traveling Monday morning uh, going to Ohio and coming back uh, uh, tomorrow afternoon uh, Lord willing. So let's do continue praying for that and and remember uh, uh, do remember uh, just a close friend of ours uh, passed away. Her name was Maria. Uh, do remember her family. Uh, let's do remember the Ralph Stanton family. Uh, let's do continue praying for the Stanton family. If, uh, I'm sure everyone here knows who, who Mr. Stanton was, uh, but if you're at the profile plant over here in Chucky, if you just look across the, uh, the, the, the small road there, uh, that was where Mr. Ralph Stanton lived. So let's do continue praying for his family. Uh, to put it in kind of perspective, that would be Sister Audrey Lamb's brother-in-law to kind of put in respect of with our church. Uh, let's do continue praying for the McCracken family. Miss Kari McCracken uh, would, would come on occasion and sit over about where Brother Dwight's sitting. Uh, this would be uh, Brother, um, Brother David and Sister Marion Reese's neighbor. Uh, she passed away. So let's do remember the, the, the McCracken family. Uh, let's do continue praying for just the many others. I know Brother Scotty Davis is in the hospital, so let's do remember him. Uh, Brother JD still trying to get back on his feet after his procedure, uh, so let's lift him up. You know, we have uh, this, the Easter service is coming up, and it's going to be on the 17th of April. It just, uh, uh, you know, how, how does Easter fall? Well, it depends on the moons and depends all that kind of stuff. We won't get into that, but uh, it'll be April the 17th. We will be having, uh, uh, we will be having a sunrise service that morning at 645. Uh, sunrise is about 652. Uh, we will be having, it was starting about 645 if the weather's permitting. And I know the last two or three, four, or at least the last two services, uh, three services that we've had, we hadn't been able to go outside, but being later in the year, we're hoping we'll be able to go outside. And if that's the case, uh, we'll have a service out in our, out here in the parking lot, uh, looking towards the east. And uh, so please, Please do remember that. We'll be able to hopefully have some maybe some chairs for people who do need to sit down and that type of thing. So uh, let's do remember that. Uh, that morning uh, during the 10 a.m. service, uh, we will be having our Easter cantata. And, uh, and we will not have Sunday school that service. We'll have our Easter cantata. And then at our, we'll have an 11 o'clock service, preaching service, and we'll be no Sunday evening service. We've been doing that now for about seven or eight years, I guess. And uh, it seems like it's worked out well. So there'll be no Sunday evening service there. I did not get any call from Cabell County Huntington uh, Sheriff's Department or Boyd County uh, Kentucky Sheriff's Department where our ladies went there. Uh, so that is good. I told them I did not have any bail money. When they, I see a lady, when I see a ladies group about 14, or 12 or 13 on a bus, oh, it concerns me. But they had a good time, and I'm grateful that they were able to get away. I, I really am. They had a safe time, and we're very grateful for that. There's a picture in there, there, there as well. But I know that we have all. I know that we have many unspoken requests. I know Sister Sarah uh, Kilgore, or Sister Tara Kilgore, had some surgery this past week, and and, and doing well. She gets her tubes out in the morning. So let's let's do continue praying for that. She's uh, had some uh, some uh, nasal surgery, uh, sinus surgery, and that type of thing. So let's do continue praying for that. I know that there's many unspoken the lifted hand this morning. Amen. Aren't you grateful today that we, that we call to a God that never changes? Uh, when he made mention of, uh, uh, of the, uh, the directory pictures, I thought, uh, and if you ask Brandy and if you ask Emily, and especially if you ask Bryson, do we need to get our picture? We probably need to get our picture retaken. Uh, you know, they're not uh, able to settle my lap anymore. Uh, things change. We change. 
Uh, my forehead got bigger since that picture. I don't know why, uh, but, uh, uh, but you know, I'm grateful today that God never changes. I'm grateful that we can stand upon a solid rock, uh, that he's our foundation and he's our fortress. Amen. Father, Lord, we lift your name on high. We praise you for being a God that is worthy of all of our praise and more. And Lord, we just ask today, Lord, you be with this service. Lord, we pray today, Lord, you move and guide and, and direct in a way that you can. Lord, we ask today, Lord, that uh, just a double portion this morning of your great spirit. Lord, as we sing, Lord, as the preached word is being preached, Lord, may it go out and touch hearts. Lord, may it, maybe it needs to change hearts. Maybe it needs to convict hearts. Maybe it needs to encourage hearts or, or just sustain hearts. Whatever it is, Lord, I pray today, Lord, you just do what needs to be done this morning. Lord, we praise you. And Lord, we love you. Lord, you know these many requests of, 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 of people recovering procedures or people having procedures. Lord, for the ones that's lost loved ones this week, Lord, we just lift them up. Lord, for the ones that may be traveling, and Lord, we just praise you for all that you do for us. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Let's all stand this morning as, as Brother Seth comes to lead us for a song. Good morning. Welcome to our Sunday morning service. If you will, let's all sing I Will Serve Thee. It's, in, it's on page 23 in the Red Book.
seated. If you want to sing along with the choir, page 199 in the church hymnal, we'll sing Where the Soul Never Dies. Amen. dismissed and our ushers come down just greet someone there with you that that's sat next to you uh, let them know that we're very grateful that they're here today person next to you and say, God loves you. Aren't you grateful today that God loves us? Amen. Amen. I figured that put a smile on some of you's faces. Some of you needed to smile today. Brother Roger, would you ask the blessing over our regular tithes and offerings, please? Page 95 in the Red Book.
sweet.